What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and today we are going to be testing out something a bit different on the channel and that is this DJI Mini 3 Pro drone and I tell you what, just look at the size of that box. Now I've had drones for quite a few years now and uh, I remember my original one had to go in a backpack, the thing was absolutely massive. But to think, in this tiny little box we've got a drone and a controller with a screen is just crazy. Now, one problem that I have found in past experience with these type of drones is the battery life. But this one does have quite a good battery life, but sadly only comes with a one. But we have also been sent over this DJI Mini Pro 3 Fly More Kit. So with this, we get some more batteries and we're gonna be unboxing both of these and testing the drone out. Now, if you wanna pick up both of these or just one or the other or something else when it comes to electronics, then please check out box.co.uk who are kind enough to send over both of these. They do you a great deal on this and they always have offers on. They're a great company, they support the channel. So why don't you help support me by uh, making your next electronics purchase from them. So I'll leave a link to both of these in the description and uh, yeah I'd really appreciate it if you would use them. Right so let's first start off then by taking a quick look at the box end. So as we can see DJI Mini 3 Pro got a picture there of the controller with that amazing screen and the drone itself. So moving around to the side and we get some specs. So it's ultra light and foldable, less than 249 grams. And that is an important figure right there as many of you will know, because that means it comes into a different category of a drone, which means uh, less restrictions basically for uh, various countries. 4K HDR video, very nice indeed. 48 megapixel photo vertical shooting, flagship 12 kilometer full HD video transmission. That is a crazy distance for such a small drone, 12 kilometers mad. Three direction active obstacle sensing, which is great if you're uh, not so much of a pro when it comes to handling these things. Intelligent features, active track, master shots, and hyperlapse. Okie dokie, let's get this bad boy out of the box then. And uh, let's lift the lid. I tell you what, whew, feels nice and thick that. No, it's uh, not a massive deal, but I do like uh, a nice box. And as we can see, first off, we are presented with the drone itself in a nice protective little bag there. There we go. So at least it's not getting scratched up in the box. Wow, it's so compact. Just take a look at that, it's crazy. The power, the performance that you can get out of something so small these days, look at that, in literally in the palm of your hand. Now let's unfold the arms on this. And one thing that I have noticed is that we do have these two raised bits just there, which are not only act as a like landing feet, if you wanna look at that, but also it stops those blades moving around when you're transporting it. On other ones, they can just flap around, but uh, what we can do is just pull that down like that, pull that arm out like that, and then fold those two back. And there we have it. Look at that. That's mad. Now we do have a protective cover over the camera. Again, great for transportation. Just push that down like so. Lift that off. Oh, and uh, we've even got a uh, bit of protection over that camera. So let's pull that off. There we go. And by the looks of it, we've got another one just on the bottom there. It says uh, remove before use. There we go. That's better. So there we see, so there we can see that camera just there and uh, the uh, great stabilization that you're gonna get from the gimbal. Now, as mentioned on the box, we do have the advanced obstacle avoidance, which is located just there on the front, also there and then on the bottom. So uh, hopefully you won't crash into anything. Moving around to the back and then we have a charging port 
and a slot for an SD card. So yeah, make sure you get a nice big SD card to put in there to capture all that amazing drone footage. Now, battery wise, what we need to do to release it, believe it or not, there is a battery already in here and uh, just push on either side of these tabs in like that and pull it straight out. I'll tell you what, it weighs absolutely nothing. And I'll push back in, simple as that. Putting the drone to one side now then, and let's dig deeper into the box. So let's lift out that tray. And now we get to this amazing looking controller. So again, in a uh, protective bag there, which is nice so it's not getting scratched up once again. Oh, oh, that feels really, really nice. Nice rubberized grips there. So uh, we've got our uh, joysticks embedded into the back, which obviously all we have to do is lift those out. And I'm guessing they just screw straight in like so. And they feel nice quality too, to be fair. Let's take the other one out. I do like the way it's all, you know, inbuilt so you don't lose anything. I know it's like that on other ones as well, but yeah, it's just a nice design. But look at that, the ergonomics of that is great. It just fits into the palm of your hand, lovely. My fingers are just, you know, instantly dropping onto those buttons and those joysticks as well. So yeah, as much as it looks like just a square brick, it does feel very nice in the hand indeed. Now the main advantage of this controller is got to be this screen because uh, if you've had other drones quite often, you have to use your mobile phone, which isn't always a problem, but quite often you get out into the field and then you find that your battery life on your phone's not a hundred percent and you know, you can't use it as a normal phone once you've connected it to the controller and that is a bit of a pain in the backside if I'm honest. So having an actual dedicated screen that you've not got to worry about anything, that is just marvelous. So moving along and we do have a few buttons there. So we've got our, what looks like return to home button. We've got a switch there to flip between various modes and a power on off button. Obviously we've got our LED indicators there which will show us the state of charge. Then moving to the front, we've got buttons there to take a photo or record video. And uh, these like sort of scroll wheels which are again, feel very nice indeed. So I'm guessing that's gonna be maybe to operate the uh, camera up and down, maybe zoom in and out. I think they may even be configurable. And then finally, we have a couple of buttons underneath, which are C1 and C2. Moving to the bottom of the remote, and uh, we have a port for host and a micro SD card. So let's uh, just pop that open, as you can see there, and uh, another USB-C. Right, so let's actually turn this thing on and I've never done this before, so let's see how intuitive it is. I'm gonna press that power button once and uh, that lights up, as you can see, to indicate what battery level that we are at. And let's hold it down. I reckon that's gonna power it on. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Look at that, DJI. That, I tell you what, I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, but that is super bright, which is exactly what you're gonna need when you are outdoors in the harsh sunlight. So probably stating the obvious, but it is a touch screen. So uh, we can scroll through, through that and uh, set it all up nice and easily. Now I'm not gonna bore you with all the setup process because as we can see, there's gonna be terms and conditions, no doubt updates and all that. But uh, yeah, we'll get to see what this screen is really like when we test it outdoors. So let's see what is finally left in the box. And uh, we have a smaller box. So let's just open that up. I'm guessing this is gonna be instructions and whatnot. Yeah, it looks like they are. Some spare propellers, which there's a good chance you are gonna need. A screwdriver, that's gonna to be to put those propellers on. And a USB-C to USB-C cable. Right, now that we've got the drone all unboxed, I'm gonna set that to one side. And now we are gonna take a look at the Flymore kit. And as we can see on the box, it does indicate there that the batteries are good for 34 minutes. So yeah, a nice bit of flight time. So we have a bag and yeah, it looks like everything is contained in this. And obviously this is the bag that you are gonna put that drone in. So it uh, feels nice, nice, uh, like a rubbery feeling to be fair. It's uh, yeah, a bit weird, but 
going to be good maybe if it's raining that feels like it will be uh you know good to repel the water so let's unzip this then and see what is inside so and there we go that is our charger that will see up to three of those batteries and with this fly more combo we do get two additional batteries as you can see we can just pull those out just like we did in the drone itself just pop those back in and obviously we can put the third one from the drone and with each of those given up to 34 minutes of flight time that's an hour and 42 minutes in total which is pretty mental as we can see at the bottom we've got leds which will show us the state of charge as it's charging moving around to the side looks like we've got a uh, power on off button usb type c that will be to obviously uh, put power into the battery charger and then we have an out so that's good so you can charge it by usb a right let's see what else is in the bag then and uh a little packet just in here guessing that's going to be yeah sure enough just uh, some instructions just there and uh, as you can see we have this section in there where we can put the drone in and the controller, keeping them all nice and padded from one another. Moving up to the top and we have this zip compartment just there. And uh, let's have a look what's in there. So we have a USB-C to USB-A. And I'll tell you what, that's obviously gonna be going into there. And I'm guessing that means that we can charge either the drone or the controller whilst this slot is also on charge via that port via the USB type C. So yeah, nice that you can have everything on the charge in one go. Delving a little bit deeper into that pocket and then we have two spare pairs of propeller blades. So that's about it for that pocket and uh, let's just move around to the back and there we do have another zipped compartment. You can put all your other bits and bobs in there, probably even a mobile phone too. And then finally we have the strap and as we can see that is adjustable. So uh, yeah, a nice little carry bag. Now my bit of advice would be if you are buying one of these drones, definitely go for the fly more kit. You will thank me later. Like I said, there's nothing worse than when you get out there, that battery goes flat, you're having fun. At least with this, you know, you're gonna get a decent amount of flight time. And it's all gonna be kept in one safe, tidy place. Right now, before we actually take the drone outside for a flight, what I'm gonna do is just run through some of the controls on here. We're actually gonna fire up the uh, drone in the kitchen. So uh, just to turn this on again, quick press, press and hold again. That'll fire it into life. Takes a few seconds to boot up, as we can see. There we go. And what we're gonna do now is also just fire up the drone. So press in once, press in a second time and hold in. Right, so that's all now fired into life. And as we can see, we are now getting that preview from the drone. And I'll tell you what, that is super clear, really, really clear image. Don't you think on that, yeah? yeah. So uh, yeah, here we go. We've got all our controls on here. At the bottom there, I've, what I've done, I've popped an SD card into the drone itself. And if we click on that there, you can see the storage there of that SD card. But also we do have some internal storage as well. It's only like 1.2 gig, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the SD card. Also we have our uh, different resolutions. So if I would just click on that, we can see we've got the different frame rates going on there, that which we can select just by simply swiping across there up to 4K 60, which is very good indeed. I'm gonna go 4K 30 on this one though, but we can do uh, 4K 2.7 and 1080 as well. Now, if you want more control, all you do is click on auto and there you go, you go into your pro settings. And if I click on that, there you go, loads of customization on there. But just for now, what I'm gonna do is stick to the auto mode. Now at the top, we have these three dots. If I click on that, we also get up our main menu. So we've got things there for safety, so we can set the max altitude, max distance, so on and so forth. Then we've got control there for the, uh, the gimbal. We can also change uh, the stick layer. I've gone for a custom mode there, but there are some pre-selected ones as well. Then we've got settings there for the camera, so uh, different formats, color, and so on and so forth. We move down to the bottom, once again, we can see the SD card and the internal storage. Now, something else that is good is if we go to control in the settings and we scroll down, if we go to uh, button customization, as you can see there, 
These two buttons, so C1, C2, and the scroll wheels can all be configured to do different sort of things. So uh, yeah, you get options there to customize it to however you like it. And uh, the different things, so there, such as zooming in, adjust focal length, adjust EV, adjust shutter speed. Yeah, I just love the customization of this. And this is what makes it a pro. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is quickly fly this in the kitchen just to demonstrate a couple of the controls because it's easier indoors. Now we could press that button to take off, but there is another way if you pull the two joysticks down towards each other in the uh, corners there. There you go, it powers on. I'm gonna just push it up. And uh, as you can hear, it is beeping away. That's because that obstacle avoidance is picking up on things around the kitchen. Uh, to stop it, you know, hitting into stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just spin it around quickly. I'm gonna press on record. There we go. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit there. And as you can see, that is looking really, really, really nice and clear. I can uh, get a nice view there of my biceps. Check out the back of my arms there, all looking good. So, what I'm gonna do just quickly is just press uh, stop on that record button. I just wanna demonstrate what these two uh, buttons do at the moment out of the box when it's being, you know, the way it's configured. So if I press C2, we're coming a little bit closer. Just watch the camera there. And there we go. It has changed orientation. So this is gonna be great if you wanna record like a, a TikTok video or a YouTube short. It's, just love that feature, that is really good indeed. So I'm gonna press stop again, flip that back. As far as I know, you can't be recording whilst you change that orientation, so you've gotta stop and start it. Now, the other thing is the C1 button. I'm gonna press that just once and check that out. Coming close and have a look at that. I don't know how well we can see that. The camera is just pointed straight down and back up and down and up just at a single press of the button just like that that is really good now you can of course adjust it using the scroll wheel like that up and down and to be fair if you push it up look how high up that thing goes that's mad really nice you know getting nice aerial shots there so i do like that indeed but also if we use the other one we have the zoom function so uh again if i just pull that in there as we can see, that's zooming in on my daughter there. And it is crispy. That is a really, really nice image. So, again, zooming back out. What I'm going to do is now just uh, spin that around and land it, holding it down. And there we go. Right, I think now we need to get this thing outdoors. Okie dokie. So we have come outside to my local seafront and we're going to test fly this drone. So as you can see, we've got everything in the bag here, the drone, the controller, the battery, the charger, the whole works. So what I'm gonna do is literally go through the whole stage of showing you how quick it is now to set up. So I'm gonna grab the controller out and I'm gonna just uh, get that powering up as I grab the uh, thumbsticks there, get those screwed on, there's one. And it is so quick, again, older drones and that used to take so long to set up. So there we go, that's starting up. Let's get the drone out itself. There we go. So unfold all the blades. Take off the cover. And just set that down. Let's grab a battery out. There we go. Pop that in. Press and hold. And there we go, we are ready to fly. Right, so now that we're all ready to take off, let's just take a quick look at the screen. Now I'm gonna be totally honest, with uh, the camera, it's a bit hard to see because of the reflections, but in person, it's not that bad at all. And uh, yeah, it's really, really bright. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna first start off by pressing on record, and uh, we're gonna get this bird up, and we're gonna head off over this direction to the uh, pier down there, and hopefully take a quick look. So let's... Uh, fire that up let's take her up and i've got to say it's, it's really really quiet i'm surprised how quiet it is now in the kitchen obviously it did sound a bit loud i've been enclosed but outside wouldn't you say that's quiet now my other drone it's the uh mavic mini one i think it is no not mavic mini mini one 
and uh, yeah that's a lot later but that is quiet isn't it so uh, anyway let's uh, take her up a bit I'll start heading along the seafront. So now if I want to, if I click on there, we can get a view via like a satellite image of exactly where we are too. Or I can change that to a view such as a standard view so it just gives us a uh, outline of the roads and that but personally I prefer the satellite view and we're going to click on the image again and go back to that and yeah let's head on down the seafront now at the moment I'm just in the normal mode I'm going to start tilting the camera down just a bit and I'll tell you what I'm going to click on one of the buttons to see if we can there we go point straight down look how easy that is up and down as quick as that that's great i like that so moving along now then i'm just going to tilt it down a bit more we're going to head on over this direction to the old tropicana now fun fact for you that was uh, an outdoor swimming pool this uh, bit that we're flying over any minute now and uh, recently it was home to a oil rig wasn't it mm -hmm. a massive oil rig full-size oil rig they put in there and uh, made a uh, sort of display of it it's a bit weird but there you go so uh, gain a bit of height as we fly over there and i'll tell you what let's press on that button and move forward look at that a lovely downward shot there Just one click of that button and we can come straight back up if we wish, like so. Flying over what was an old sea life centre as well now. Again, I'm going to hit that button if I just click there. There we go, straight down. You can even see the footprints in the sand. So, uh, so what, let's zoom in on some of those footprints. Look at that, amazing. So bringing the camera back up again, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to flick it into sports mode now, so uh, it should really start shifting now, there we go, now we're moving, look at that, so let's head on over, I'll tell you what, we'll start at the bottom of the pier, and uh, move along, up along it. And, oh yeah, the range on this thing is mega. I'm loving this. Okay, so <laughs> let's take it back home. <laughs> so yeah, we're coming above the start of the pier now then. And if we just get the camera up, we are, like, we are properly like right over that direction there, ain't we? We are quite far away. I'm going to put it back into the normal mode. Now the other one, C, is like the, the uh, like cinema mode. So great if you want like slow swooping shots on that. Look at this, this is crazy. It is mad to think how small this thing is, so compact in a little bag. And yet we can fly all this distance, not a problem. So what I'm going to do is click that button. There we go, we can see everyone there walking up that pier. And we we'll even have a bit of a zoom in. Proper James Bond stuff this is, isn't it? <laughs> so let's tilt the camera back up again. There we go. Beautiful shot there of the pier. Just scroll down a little bit there. And let's, uh, let's fly along it. Go out towards the end. So it's nice to see that the tide's in and uh, if you want to ever come down we're in Western Supermare. Look at that, that is a lovely shot isn't it? Mm -hmm. Coming over the top, hopefully I'm not going to bang on the roof. All the way out to the end. 
and the signal is lovely and strong there. And uh, oh, so I'm just losing a little bit of signal. Just tilt up a bit there. I tell you what, should we head on over to Wales? <laughs> so let's swing back round. And yeah, we are. Look at it. Look how far we have come. That is mad. So I'm going to uh, start swinging it back now, and uh, I'm going to whack it in sports mode, and I'm going to burn it back across the bay now. Oh, this is great fun. I thought I want one for myself now, because uh, my one, as good as it is, it is a bit of a pain in the backside that I've got to drag along different cables to plug my phone in. I just love the convenience of this, that, yeah, it's just straight out, easy set up. Like I say, no cables to worry about. I ain't got to worry about if, you know, my phone's going to run out of charge. I can still take a phone call. And, uh, yeah, it's just nice and convenient. And the range is just mega on this. My one... Like I say, as good as it is, it hasn't got any sort of range like this thing has. Okay, we are proper moving. Let's see if we can see ourselves. I'm going to uh, start dropping the height a little bit now. Avoiding the lampposts. Hopefully we won't see any seagulls. They uh, do tend to like a drone, they do. I think I can see us just there. So, so zoom in a bit. Is that us there? That is us there. There we go. Coming on in. Zoom back out. Oh, nice shot like that. And uh, here we go. There, it, there she is. Ah, let's bring her down. And she don't hang about. I tell you what. Let's give. I tell you what. We will give it a little fly past in sports mode. My God, you know. Bit of a run up. Let's turn her back round. And here we go. God, it's so quiet, isn't it? That's crazy. And one more time. I'll do it right over the top. So anyway, I'm going to put it back into the normal mode now. And uh, yeah, just bring her in for a nice landing. And there we go. Well, I am well impressed with that. So much so, and I don't often say this, I'm actually tempted to buy one of these myself. Now, I know I sent this over, but it's got to be returned. So yeah, I am definitely considering buying one and replacing my old drone. Now, like I said at the start of the video, if you want to pick up one of these for yourselves and the Fly More kit, I'll put links for those in the description. They will be affiliate links, so I'll get a few quid back if you use those links, which I would really appreciate if you would do. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, do us a favour, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And hopefully, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.